Welcome back to the Morning Blend with our continuing series, All That Sparkles with Kessler's Diamonds. Getting engaged is supposed to be all sunshine, rainbows, romantic, hopeful. Yeah, but what if things start to change and the engagement has to be called off? There's a big question to ask, who gets the ring? Richard Kessler is here to help out, <laughs> help us sort out what to do if trouble arrives in paradise. <laughs> I love it. Good morning. I love Good to that see this you. follows our last guest. Yeah. Where we're yeah. talking about being positive and yeah. not wallowing, but it's it's an important question probably because sometimes people yeah. call it off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes that's the most sometimes. positive thing yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah. It's it's important. Um, who's going to get the ring? It really depends on two things: where you live, what state you live in, and how the ring was received. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, explain. Do the, explain. First of all, there are 10 um, conditional gift states in the U.S. and Wisconsin is one of them. Okay. So when there is an intention of marriage and the ring is given, um, if you don't follow through with that in Wisconsin, the ring should be returned. Okay. Oh. So, so what does it mean when you say how you receive the ring? Because this is what matters. Yes. So if you were to receive the ring on a special occasion like a birthday or Christmas or Valentine's Day, <laughs> it's then considered a gift. Oh. So um, many courts will rule that the ring does not have to be returned at that point. So the woman ah. can keep the ring. Yes. Okay. So even though it's an engagement, a proposal of marriage, it, it matters the day that it was on because if it's a holiday or special occasion, it's a gift. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. Be careful. I yep. think that's fast. It's not always a gift then <laughs> if right. it's not on a holiday or special occasion. Right, that's correct. Okay, so does it matter who bro breaks the engagement off? It doesn't matter since uh, our state is set up the way that it is, it doesn't matter who breaks off the engagement. No. So you said 10 states, right? Right. I'm curious, what do other states have then? They, they don't have a conditional gift. It is not a conditional gift, so then you do what you want to do. Oh, I see. Okay, uh -huh. okay. So regardless you of fight. Who, who winds <laughs> up with the ring, what can they do about it? Are there any options? Well, first, it's important to understand that there is no secondary market for used jewelry, like mm -hmm. there is for a house or for a car. There's no secondary market. So. What a lot of people will do is uh, sell it on eBay yeah. or mm -hmm. Craigslist. That's one way to go. Um, the, another option that we have at Kessler's is that you can trade in that diamond towards anything in the store and get 100% of what you originally paid for it. So what some folks do is uh, they may sit on it and wait till the right partner comes along and then exchange the diamond for something night and start fresh. Oh, oh so... How about this? Could you bring it back to Kessler's? No, that's if you bought your ring there Correct. only. Okay, that makes sense. You bring it back, you can get 100% th what you paid for it in something else. So you could propose to somebody else. Or anything in the store. You could you can choose something for yourself. We've had girls who have brought the ring back, exchanged the diamond, and got a pair of diamond earrings instead. Okay. Interesting. How so often too. do you see this happening? Did you have to ask that <laughs> I want to know the statistics. <laughs> Just we sell engagement rings. So yes. <laughs> it does happen. It, it happens a lot more than we want to even think that it happens. Yeah. What about selling it to a local jeweler? Is that a good idea? Well, again, there's no secondary market. Mm -hmm. So if you go to sell it to a jeweler, understand that a jeweler can go out and buy that wholesale anytime. Yeah. So if he's going to buy something that he doesn't want or he doesn't need right now, He's going to offer way below wholesale, and, and that's kind of painful, but it is an option. Yeah. Okay. But getting back to the other option of Craigslist or eBay, my recommendation would be if you have an interested buyer, ask them to, be, ask them to meet you at the police department, yeah. which they're happy to do to help because Smart. you sure it's don't safe. want strangers coming to your home. So I've yeah. never thought of that. Yeah, yeah I didn't important. know you could do that. And police departments are sometimes Happy open to, to that. Happy to do that. Okay. Maybe they'll help you negotiate. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, you're good. <laughs> um, but you guys don't sell any used jewelry. No, so right? we don't buy any jewelry yeah. back. We wouldn't buy it ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can trade in the diamond, but we wouldn't buy it because we don't sell any used jewelry. But there are a lot of jewelry stores that do sell used jewelry, so they may be interested, certainly a lot more than we would. Yeah. yeah. I think that's I think that's fascinating. So the two things to keep in mind, if, if you get engaged in Wisconsin, most of the people that we're communicating with now, they're going to be living in this state. It matters where you live 
and it matters really on what day you propose. Yeah, so you I would can be propose careful there. Valentine's Day. It's a, a di one set of rules. You propose the next day on the 15th. It's totally different. Totally different. <laughs> That's wild. That's what happened with us. That was the joke in our relationship. Oh, what? Because he proposed the day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> He's so a we planner. always, yeah, he is a planner. He's smart. <laughs> so He's we always smart. joke about that. We're like, well, but either way, sometimes there's an heirloom there too, and you'd always hand it back, hopefully, right. if you're a good person. But <laughs> good stuff. I love this topic. That's fantastic. Oh, you're oh, wonderful. Kesslers, you can find a location close to you. I'd say buy your ring there because yes. it's got an incredible warranty. Get something with fresh and new for your life. Love. You buy <laughs> Kesslersdiamonds.com to find a store closest to you. Thanks so much. I'm glad you guys are so cheerful about this subject. <laughs> we love it. It's fascinating, it's I think. Thank you so much. Thank you.